What up, YouTube? This is Steven, and welcome back to another lyrical analysis. This time, I'll be analyzing the song On and On by Koda Kumi. And this song was not a single, but it does have a music video, and the song was used to promote uh, Koda Kumi's compilation album, Winter of Love. And I actually meant to do a lyrical analysis of this song um, around the time that the compilation album uh, Winter of Love was released. But as you see, that didn't happen. But you know what they say, better, better late than never, right? So here we go. Quote unquote, I'm never alone. So I guess it's always the party where Kotokumi at, y'all. All right, next. Even if I say that to myself, it's forced. Uh, okay, it sounds like she might not be at a party at, at this point. Let's see, But as you smile next to me, you extend your hand to me every day. You never leave me every, every day. Hmm. Okay. So it sounds like Kotokumi might be speaking to her husband or like her side dude. Um, but she's like, okay, um, you know, even if I say to myself that I'm never alone, it's forced. Um, uh, but as you smile next to me, you extend your hand to me every day. You never leave me every day. Um, uh, so I'm guessing she's going through some things where she feels like she's alone but she may say, I'm never alone, and she may feel like she's forcing herself to say that even though she may feel alone, even though she has someone next to her. A little confusing, but let's see if we can clear some things up with um, the next lyrics. I'm not used to healing wounds, but tomorrow, but tomorrow it'll come again. All right, so Kotokumi is not a nurse, a doctor, um, an herbalist, a shaman, you know, she is not into healing people, but it, it, it will come again tomorrow, but what is it? I guess the feeling of never, of feeling lonely, maybe? <clears throat> Let's see. Here's the chorus, and it goes on and on, on and on it goes, oh, and it goes on and on. On and on it goes, ooh, but it feels like it's going to break, but I keep on moving, on and on, on and on it goes. <clears throat> so, like, what's going to break? Hmm. This is Kota Kumi's show, you know, it's a big possibility that she's um, referring to something nasty there. That, you know, it's going on and on, but, you know, it feels like it's going to break. Um, but she keeps on moving and keeps going on and on anyway. Um, as we all know, um, you know, Kotokumi has a certain reputation within J-pop, you know? You know, when people come to Kotokumi, they you know, have certain expectations when it comes to her music and some of the themes that she talks about, you know. So going on and on for Kotokumi may, at first I'm thinking this is like a romantic song, but it may be more of like a sexual song for Kotokumi. But let's see, you know, maybe, maybe not, because this is supposed to be like a ballad, but then again, it's Kotokumi, so this is probably like a Kotokumi ballad, which is not so much like the romantic, our love goes on and on, but more so like, you know, um, our intercourse goes on and on, on and on it goes, it feels like it's gonna break, so I guess Kota Kumi must be putting in work, man. <clears throat> All right, but let's see what's next. Um, there's no quote-unquote not being at a loss. The pains of my past, too, look, are in my heart. All right, so she's reminiscing on things that happened to her in her past now. Um, possibly um, in regards to love. Um, hmm. Let's see. If I count the number 
of happiness, I'm sure it wouldn't be that much. But I feel like I've been able to get stronger. Um, so I guess the number of times she's been happy in her life wouldn't be that much. That's a sad thing to say, Kotokumi. I'm sure you've had happy moments, at least when you've been in intercourse. Um, you seem to sing about it so much. I guess maybe those are her happy moments, maybe. Um, but, I don't know, I think she, I mean, her son being born, you know, getting married, um, you know, getting your record deal, um, getting your first number one single, your first number one album, your first million selling album, like, you know, those are happy moments, right? All right, next, snuggling up to you, let's live on, getting frightened together, and supporting. All right, so I'm guessing let's get scared together and let's support each other. And then Kotokumi jumps back into the chorus and she's all like, he goes on and on and on and it goes. Yeah. And it feels like it's going to break. What's it? This nasty stuff. Um, but she keeps on going, you know, because Kotokumi, she's going to get hers. <laughs> like, like, bump you, man. Like, bump that, you. Kotokumi gonna get hers. All right, next. Even if I'm ridiculed with compliments, and even if we're getting hurt, wow. Let's go. Let's go through our life, through the future, walk of my way. I thought it was walk of my life. Wasn't that Kotokumi's like last album before this? Well, before her two compilation albums, um, Summer of Love and Winter of Love, Walk of My Life. But now she's talking about Walk of My Way. Right. I guess if you're going to hock your material within your material, then you should at least get the title right, you know. <clears throat> but maybe Kotokumi's talking about a whole nother walk, you know. Um, it's just a walk in the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's saying that she's been ridiculed with compliments. I'm like, who's complimenting Kotokumi? Like, who, who does that? Um, you know, I don't know. Um, but let's see, the chorus, um, it ends the song, and it's pretty much the same thing, it doesn't really change up, and it's like, on and on, on and on, and it goes, on and on, on and on, and it goes, yeah. so, you know, she's basically doing that, <clears throat> all right, so, the music video for this song is kind of interesting and probably not in um in a not in a good way all right <clears throat> let's see the music video is like it's filmed where you should probably look at it on your phone perhaps it's like when you film your um self on your cell phone and it has like the thin um screen versus the wide screen. Well, Kotokumi's using like the thin screen. I don't know exactly what it's called, but she's using like the thin vertical screen uh, versus the horizontal wide screen aspect ratio. And I'm not sure why. Um, I guess it's to distract that her music video is really low budget. Um, I'm guessing Avex didn't really want to um, give Kotokumi any type of a budget for this video. It's pretty much Kotokumi by herself being filmed and filming herself and she's filming herself and it's supposed to look like it's kind of like Kotokumi sort of like um like kind of like you know oh behind the scenes of you know Kotokumi you know she, no no hair no makeup but she got makeup on full blast during those scenes that should look like you know you know the behind the scenes footage type of scenes and also my like, Kotokumi is on like buildings too I'm guessing she's probably on Abex's um, corporate office building and recording herself while being recorded like she's recording herself with a cell phone and also there's close-ups of her on a cell phone where she's like on and on on and on and then goes and um, then there's the scenes of her walking the streets and, at night, um, and I'm like, Kotokumi, I thought you gave up that um, profession once you got into the um, industry. I thought that, uh, you know, 
I know you're still, you know, walking the streets um, looking for um, clients um, and whatnot. But apparently, Kotokumi is, you know, maybe she's going down memory lane. You know, maybe that's the walk, the walk of her way. You know, she, you know, Kotokumi, she ain't no, she ain't like those other folks who forget where they came from. You know, Kotokumi, she keeps it real, and she's like, yeah, you know, I came from the hard knock streets. You know, I came from, you know, the tough streets of, um, you know, whatever town she grew up in. <clears throat> And I ain't ashamed of it, you know. She's like Kotokumi from, you know, the barrio, you know. Imucha honra, Kotokumi la de la barrio de osoy. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> um, so pretty much, I guess that's about it. Um, I think the song is okay. I've heard better from Kotokumi. Um, I'm not really into Kotokumi's ballads for some reason. I can't, I haven't really found the Kotokumi ballad that really moves me. You know, like, whoa, like, you know, Kotokumi really going in. You know, she really moving me. She's touching me. Um, you know, not so much. Um, so for me, I would rather spend a summer with Kotokumi than a winter with Kotokumi, if you get what I'm saying. Um, I kind of, you know, gravitate more towards her dance songs versus her ballads. Um, yeah, um, but I guess there's some Koto Kuchers out there who want to hear her ballad. So, you know, here you go. And I'm not sure, hmm, I guess this was probably the one song that was used to promote the album, perhaps. Maybe there was another song. Who knows? Who cares? Anywho, thanks a lot for watching, you guys. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. Your feedback and support are extremely appreciated and valued. Into the next lyrical analysis, adios and goodbye for now.